rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. For me, is understanding preaching first that a person must be born again, and and all the way in, in this coming into his kingdom, Jimmy, is then understand is that God. And I know one time we had a conversation before where I think you said opposite what I was saying on this piece. I always say, "Come as you are." And I think one time you said that that's not what the word says. And, and I'm saying is when we're ministering to people, we do want them to come as they are. Because the only person going to change them is Christ, not themselves. Right? Well, basically, it's not in the Bible, but, but, but then too, and it's because of us. It's because of us that people think um, I need to take a wash up before I get in the shower. It makes yeah. no sense. You can't yeah. clean yourself up. I understand what you're saying when you say come as you are. In other words, don't try to wait till you get right. Don't try to wait till you change this. Well, I mean, I know I do all kind of craziness, so I ain't going to come to church right now because I know what I, how I live. Well, that's the wrong mentality. But people have that mentality because of church folk, not because mm -hmm. of the Bible, because that's not what the Bible teaches. But we've given that people the impression of that. And so that's what they think because of us, you know. Uh huh. What well, you know the, the the scripture when I when I know that you know we did the one about the uh, the banquet when he said go in the highways and the byways, you know, bring <laughs> the good and the bad. Yeah. Uh, that's what I would refer to because it, he's a, he's calling he's calling people to his kingdom. He's he's reconciling us to to him. And we as ambassadors are supposed to reconcile the world. And I, I don't know how to reconcile them opposite of say it, come as you are, you know. Um, well, in other words, I hear what you're saying, because yeah, because everybody is invited. That's that's the key to that. Everybody's invited. Uh, everybody's invited regardless. And so that's that's what we have to understand that everybody, he wants to, he, the Bible says it's God's will that, that none should perish, mm -hmm. but that all should come to repentance. And so, Obviously, he wants everybody to come, but uh, we, you know how we, you know, we're the biggest disqualifiers of people on earth. We always want to say who ain't saved and who can't make it and who, who ain't this and they ain't that and they ain't that. And I mean, I don't, I just, I don't know. I cringe when I hear those kind of statements being made because I don't think that's my responsibility or nor my job, nor my, my position of authority to be worried about, to be honest with you. Exactly, and I, I think that's the whole point. And I think that's what's so critical about, I think that's what that wisdom comes to about saying he and wise win souls, is the fact is that they, they are gonna come in different aspects of life uh, as you approach them and talk to them about the gospel. They're gonna come, look, even from the political side, they'll come whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. You know, you're supposed to come. Uh, you come whether you're in prison or you're not in prison. Uh, you, you, he, he just tells us to reconcile that world and then let them grow in Christ. And that's critical. And, and what hey, I want to start off with was the- I just uh, want to say this, it's, some, it's, it's going to be some Trump supporters in heaven. It's going to be some Republicans. <laughs> it's going to be some Republicans in heaven. It's going to be some Democrats. It's going to be some independents. It's hey. going to be some, I don't care nothing about government. They're going to be there too. You know what I'm saying? I know it. Hey, look, it's gonna be different. Look, different colors, different races. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Different. <laughs> there, there, there's one. There, there, I mean, and, and we think in terms of that. Lord, help me because y'all do have to help me on this. I have a tendency to kind of like my mom says, like the kingdom of God is a government to itself, and it overrides every government on the planet. So when Amen. I invite a person to come into the kingdom, I'm actually asking them to disavow, in a sense, or or. or I, I guess change the citizenship. You know, it's yeah, like yeah. you were a member in, in every system aside from the kingdom of God. To me, it's a system in the world. So the Democrat, the United States of American government is a world system. It's a world government. And I'm literally trying to draw people out of that governmental system into the kingdom, which aligns them in a lot of ways with that governmental system, but it does not become their basis or behavior or, or standard of, 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 of their, their value standards. Uh -huh.
Well, you so know. I really, I am subversive in the sense that I want people to join the kingdom of God. I want them to just come out from among them and be your separate. Join the kingdom of God, which is everlasting people, whose principles are righteous, whose everything that it does is perfect. If you can do it in accordance with the kingdom of God, you have heaven on earth. And that, that's how I kind of approach it. Um, the practices in the world system that don't align themselves with the kingdom of God, I don't initially you know, jump on that about people because they got to get in the kingdom first. You got to catch your fish to say before you can scale it. So we have to, like recruiters, from where we're sitting anyway, we show them the benefits of being in the kingdom. And after they come into the kingdom, then we start to address um, the growth in the spirit. Right. So right. they got to be born again. Got to get you into the kingdom. Got to accept Jesus Christ the Lord. So can they come as they are? Um, when I when we joined the military, we came as we were. But shortly after we came in, <laughs> we would change dramatically. You know? Yeah. And I think <laughs> we, we start thinking about uh, can we submit to that, that dynamic? Can we submit to the thing that Christ is doing in our lives? Or right. are you actually being drawn to a point where you don't want what you are uh, now? You know, it's impossible almost to, to bring a person into the kingdom that's satisfied with the life that they have. I think, I think, I think. Yeah.